Western New York is in store for a pretty amazing sunrise tomorrow morning. A ring of fire eclipse will be occurring when the sun rises at 536. You're going to be able to start watching it as soon as that happens until it ends around 636 in the morning. Now we wanted to learn a little bit more about the eclipse, so we reached out to the Buffalo Astronomical Association. And I'm joined now by Michael Humphrey. Michael is president of the Buffalo Astronomical Association. Michael, thanks for joining us tonight. First question, Michael, how big of a deal is this eclipse really, and how common are morning eclipses? Well, this is a big deal, mostly because it's occurring over land. A lot of eclipses that you see are going to occur over water. In this case, this one is starting out in the Atlantic and is going to be moving across. So. We aren't going to see the entire ring of fire, but we're going to start catching into it as it's progressing. So it actually is a big deal. We'll get a chance to see it if our weather holds out. All right. Th that's my next question. How visible is it going to be from right here in uh, the western New York area? Or do we need to drive out to rural parts of western New York uh, where it's a little darker to watch it? Well, you don't need to go any place that's darker because, remember, the sun is coming up. So what you want to try and do is either be very um, high up in the building or you want to be someplace that has a, a pretty decent horizon. Now, the eclipse is going to last for about an hour, maybe an hour and 40 minutes, and it's going to be as the sun is rising, so you may miss the beginning of it, but as it progresses, you should be able to catch more of it. So why is it actually called the ring of fire? Well, during a typical eclipse, where you see a total eclipse, the moon is much closer to the Earth. And actually, if I can show you in this example, that's what it looks like for an eclipse. You have the Earth, the Moon, and then the Sun is out here. And because of where the Moon is, the Moon's going to completely obscure the Sun. When it obscures that, all we see is the corona during a total. Now, during a partial or annular eclipse, and in this case, annular doesn't mean annually, it just means the ring, the Moon is a little further out. Because it's a little further out, what we get is the Sun gets occluded, but you have this ring of fire, so you still see a bit of the Sun facing over the moon. So it looks like the moon is on fire. It looks like a ring of fire. So that's the way to describe it. Fascinating, Michael. Thank you so much for your time tonight. We appreciate it. Michael Humphrey with us tonight. Well, thank you. Appreciate it and see you later.